The World Weightlifting Championships 2022 are finally almost upon us. And I'm going to go through the entry list and look at the most exciting upcoming battles, the uh, return athletes we haven't seen in a while, potential world records, just the most exciting moments. And I have to say, just from, just from a fan's perspective, this is easily the most exciting competition in weightlifting since the 2019 World Championships. The reason being, well, I mean, last year's World Championships was great fun, but it just didn't have a lot of Olympic champions because it was so close to the Olympic Games. And then the Olympic Games didn't have a lot of the great athletes that we wanted to see because of the restrictions of how many athletes can compete and so on. This is easily the most exciting. It's got over 700 competitors. Everybody that you want to see, bar one person who we'll get into in this video, uh, is gonna be here competing. So let's get straight into it. I wanna start things off with the women's 49s. Oh, and it's worth mentioning again, if you want to watch the World Weightlifting Championships, we, a weightlifting house, have won the bid for the broadcasting. So you can get a link to watch it. The pay-per-view is down below. There's early bird pricing right now. So you get the entire two weeks of competition for just $13.99 if you purchase your ticket right now. Let's take a look at these 49s. So I think there's a main plot here and then a, an incredibly exciting subplot. The main plot is the battle between the two world record holders. So we have Hu Jihui from China and then Mirabai Chanu from India. So Hu Jihui has got the snatch world record and total world record, 96 in the snatch. Then Mirabai Chanu has got the clean and jerk record at 119 kilos. And their battles from the Olympic Games and then last year's Asian Championships, the 2020 Asian Champs, have been absolutely legendary. Neither of them, I don't think, would be at the level that they've reached without the other person sort of pushing them. And then when you throw in two time world champion and previous total world record holder Zhang Huihua from China into the mix. This battle for the podium slot is just unbelievably elite right now. And then the subplot that I was talking about, I think really is the battle between the two USA weightlifters. So you have Jordan Dela Cruz and the challenger, if you can really call her that, Haley Wrightchart. Both of them are capable of 200 kilo totals. I know that Jordan Dela Cruz hit 200 in the build-up to the Olympics at the Pan Am Champs. Not sure Haley's done it, but she's right on the cusp of it. And both of them are obviously looking towards the Paris Olympics 2024 as their goal, but only one of them can go, so one of them will miss out. And this is the first Olympic qualifier. It's a very important competition for them. I think that's going to be extremely exciting. But we also can't forget some of the other exciting stuff in this category. We have the incredibly uh, passionate Nina Stark from Belgium, who's going to be cutting down to the 49 kilo class, having just absolutely dominated the European Championship under 23s. And that is, I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge move from her because she struggled at the Olympics somewhat as a 49. She had to make a big cut. She's looking so strong at 55. I kind of assumed, so did I think a few of us, that she would go to 59 for the Olympics. Where, I mean, at 59, what's she going to do? She's going to do 100 in the snatch. She's going to do 120 in the clean and jerk. How many other 59s can snatch 100? Like three, maybe. But she's going to go 49, so that makes things more exciting. So then she's going to be certainly looking to beat those two lifters from the USA, as is Wendy Isa, the two-time junior world champion. Uh, then there's Julia Imperia from Italy. I mean, it's just an absolutely stacked field in this 49 kilo category. I then want to just sort of fleetingly take a brief look, a brief stop at the men's 61s. I'm not going to go through every category, by the way. I'm, I'm going to do a few videos, go through the most exciting categories. They, they happen to sort of be the Olympic categories. Men's 61s, we finally get to see the return of Olympic champion Lee Farbin. We've not seen him since the Olympic Games. And there is no Lee Farbin without Ekiuli Irawan from Indonesia, the four-time Olympic medalist. The world record holder in the clean jerk, 174, let's not forget. So we have these two world record holders going head to head with the snatch and the clean and jerk world record holder. But then there are some other amazing athletes. We've got He Yueji from China. So for those of you who don't remember, He Yueji is the, uh, he's an athlete who snatched an unofficial world record in training, 146. He's got the very short back and sides. He's got the Thomas Shelby Peaky Blinders haircut. And then we've got, you know, Sergio Macida, Rico Saputra, and a lot of, I mean, what's exciting is we see the return of Team Japan. So in this category, it's Yoichi Takazu, but later on, we've got Mitsunori Konai, uh, a lot of really exciting athletes here. Of course, I should mention, because uh, a lot of you listening are probably from the USA, Hampton Morris will also be in this category. He's a junior world record holder. What's amazing is that he's in 19th in terms of his entry total. 
That's what's crazy about this, actually. That's the thing that's most sort of staggering, is just the depth of this championship, which we'll see when we get on to um, some of these other categories. Let's go to the women's 59s. I, I don't want to go too deep into the 55s. I mean, we've got the return of Heidelin Diaz, the only weightlifter to defeat anyone from Team China at the Olympics last year. Uh, so the 55s will be great, but I, I can't stop at every single category because this is just going to take too long. Also, by the way, at 55, we've got Zulfi Chinchano, so that will be a, a fun battle. We've got Freya Morrow from Great Britain, uh, but let's let's go to 59. Okay, so here we have probably the most well-known female weightlifter in the world, maybe, Guo Sing Chen from Taipei. She's put in 230 kilos as her entry total. And obviously, she is the weightlifter that you kind of have to assume is going to win. I mean, she's a five-time world champion. Uh, 2013 was her first and then she's won the last four that she's competed in 17 18 19 and 21 which is crazy she's the olympic champion as well she's a world record holder in the snatch clean jerk and total 110 140 and then i want to say it's 246 let's check that 247 my bad from uh oh from 2021 okay i thought it was from 2019 i forgot that she beat that but I don't think things are going to be necessarily as easy as we thought. I mean, she's in shape. She posted a 170 back squat triple, I think, the other day. Uh, but there are a couple of Chinese weightlifters in this category. So we have Luo Xiaomin, who's also put in 230. But then Luo Shifang has put in 240 as her entry total. Now, of course, these entry totals don't mean a tremendous amount. They can actually change at this point. Uh, before the final sort of verification of entries. But even so, to some degree, when you put in a big entry total, you're making a statement. Like we'll see later on with Carlos Nassai. He's been in 400 kilos for his entry total. That's a bit of a statement. Uh, and I wonder if Luo Shifang has done that too. So some of you are, may remember a relatively viral weightlifting video about a year ago of Luo Shifang, the 59 kilo lifter, jerking 150 kilos from the blocks it was part of one of the you know it was like a news show for cctv for for team china building up to a, a competition that they were in i can't remember what it was uh and yeah 150 that is 10 kilos over the world record she also competed and she i think this is well exactly two years ago she went 103 130 she took all three gold medals at chinese nationals so she's definitely a a real contender here but the, the depth in this category just keeps kind of going on. We have Dora Chikante from France, who lifted tremendously well at the European Championships. We have Olympic champion, uh, Commonwealth Games champion, Maud Charon from Canada, who has dropped down to this 59 kilo category as her new Olympic category. Don't forget as well, if you're in Canada, we are broadcasting to you. We've got USA, Canada, Great Britain, Belgium, Netherlands, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and if you're in other countries where you assumed you would have us, just stay tuned because you may well do a working on it. Then there's Camilla Konotop, who, I mean, I think she snatched 105 the other day, the Ukrainian at the under 23s. So she's fiendishly good. Uh, Lucrezia Magistris, Mikiko Ando. I mean, the list of, of athletes here just goes on and on. But I think what I'd really like to do now is just take a look at the men's 73s because it's, um, it's on another level in terms of depth. In fact, a lot of the big names that you know may well not be in the A session. Let me just give you an idea of someone who might not be in the A session. Mirko Zani, Mitsunori Konai, Erkan Karamaj, Ritvasu Haravs, Kaki Asanidzi, Max Lang. These athletes probably won't make the A session. So in the A session, we have, in fact, it's, it's hard for me to, I don't, almost don't know who to start with because I don't know what's most exciting. Okay, so let's just, we have the two Indonesian athletes. So we have Rizki Jinsia, who, underperformed at the Asian champs, but we know is primed to at least be pushing towards world records in the clean and jerk. And then we have, he's also the two-time junior world champion. He's done 196 in competition. He's done over 200 in training. Then we have his teammate, the world champion from last year in this category, Rahma Owen Abdullah, who competed as an 81, injured. I don't want to do that. He was injured. I don't know. Ignore that. Injured. And, um, only weighing 75.4 kilos, and he clean and jerked 198. So my prediction here is um, we are going to see a new world record in the clean and jerk uh, by Rahma Owen Abdullah. Then there's Masanori Miyamoto from Japan. We've got Kalja Braken from Albania, probably going to bomb out. Um, <laughs> then we have uh, Andreev Bozidar from Bulgaria, who, you know, he's a, he's a mid-190s kind of guy when he's, you know, in good shape. He can snatch 160. Ozbek, uh, Mohamed Furkan Ozbek from Turkey, who won the European Championships with a 190 clean and jerk. There's Julio Mayora from Venezuela. Again, guy who, I mean, 
Julio Mayor has clean jerked over 200 kilos in training. I think he did 205. I want to say he snatched 170 off blocks. I know that Andrea Bozidar did. And then we have a couple of Chinese athletes. The first, and God bless him honestly for making this competition, Yuan Chengfei. And the only reason I say that is because he's just lived in the shadows of Shi Ziyong for far too long. He never gets to have a shot at the gold. And honestly, I don't think he's going to have it this time either. I mean, I just, I just can't see him beating... I, I cannot see him beating Rahma O and Abdullah. He just, for me, that's that's where my money's going for this. Uh, but then we also have Wei Yin Ting. So Wei Yin Ting at a provincial World Cup in 2019 as a 73, he went 162, 189. He has, however, we've not seen him compete internationally, but he has since clean jerk 200 kilos in training. And he may well have done that a few times, but I've certainly seen a video of him doing that recently. So the, the depth in this 73 kilo category is insane. I think what's probably a lot of you are saying, well, you're probably saying, where is Shi Ziyong? He's an 81. Shi Ziyong is an 81 at this World Championships, which I'm actually really thrilled about. I'm really excited because Shi Ziyong, because he, so he doesn't have to compete at 73 right now to qualify for the Olympics. So he decides to go to 81 for this competition which means he's going to weigh in heavy, he's going to be extra strong, he can set new personal records without sort of the pressure of them being world records. Or he might, you know, pull Lao Hui vibes and go for world records in the heavier weight category. And he's got a great matchup in the 81 with another elite Chinese weightlifter uh, who we'll get to in the next video. So that's it for this one. Um, also, by the way, we have Black Friday coming uh, all of next week. So if you want to get early access to that Black Friday before products sell out, then there's a link down below. If you click it, you can just put your email address in and we'll give you kind of uh, a bit of warning, give you access to the early Black Friday deals. So head to the link down below and check that out. And also, if you want to grab tickets at the early bird pricing for the World Weightlifting Championships via Weightlifting House, it's the only way to get your tickets, then uh, head to the link down below also. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.